What is going on guys? John here for another cooking video and today we're going to do a super simple recipe. We're going to be making chocolate bombs or cocoa bombs. Uh, basically the videos maybe you've seen online uh, on TikTok or Twitter or Facebook where people share it and they dunk a, kind of looks like a bath bomb really. Uh, it's made of chocolate, it's a sphere, you dunk it into some hot milk or cream or water uh, and it kind of melts and dissolves in itself releasing the cocoa. It's pretty neat actually. Uh, they're super simple to make as long as you have uh, the special molds, I will include a link in the description below uh, where you can pick these up. They're super, super cheap. Um, and then you're going to need some cocoa, some chocolate, uh, and, and that's about it. So let's get started and I will show you how easy it is to make these chocolate bombs. Let's get started. All right, folks. So to get started, uh, we have the mold set up on a cooking tray and we have just basically broken down our chocolate into little chunks. We have melted it in the microwave. Be sure to only do it for about 30 seconds at a time and then uh, stir it up another 30 seconds until it is nice and melted. You can also use a double boiler, but quite frankly, I am too lazy to do that. So we are going to first start. We scoop the chocolate a little bit into each mold. Get that going like this. And then what we do is just spread it to completely coat the inside as best as we can. Make sure you get all the way up to the edge. That is the most important part because that is gonna be the structure, the integrity of the ball. So we just go around like this, working as best as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're gonna do maybe two to three coats to make sure it is fully coated. Uh, these are we gotta get some more chocolate in there. Uh, just the main important thing, the most important part, is just make sure there's no gaps and make sure you get to the edges. So once all of the molds have been chocolated, uh, you're gonna pop it into the freezer to let it set up. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Just break up the chocolate as best as you can. Doesn't need to be perfect, but the smaller it is, the easier it will be to melt. So we're gonna pop this obviously without the spoon back into the microwave to get some more chocolate for the second layer. So see you soon. All right, so we are out of the freezer. It really only takes a few minutes to get them kind of set up. You can see that they're already starting to get nice and hard. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in for round two. And you gotta get them work quick here because once it hits the already cold chocolate, it's gonna set up even faster than last time. Uh, so you're just gonna get it all around the edges, like so. And that is that. So we're gonna do one more coat here, and then uh, I will see you in a few minutes. All right, so we have a nice, good, even coating all around. So now we are back into the freezer for the final step. All right, so we are on the final step. Uh, we have two coats of chocolate. They have covered pretty well around the edges. Uh, now it is time to pop them out. So we're just gonna do this. And we can see these beautiful spheres. They are looking good. Set these over here. Let's get these all out. All right, so if you noticed over here, we have a, uh, a plate which is on medium heat, well, medium low. Uh, we just want this to be warm, so use a stove safe dish. Be careful, it's obviously going to be hot. Uh, I would use some gloves so you don't get fingerprints and kind of the body heat will melt the chocolate. Uh, so here's what we do. See how it has rough edges? Not exactly uh, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the hot plate. We're just going to spin it around a little bit. And now we have perfectly Gonna do that one more time. Just swirl it around, let it melt the chocolate a little bit. And now we have perfectly sharp edges. Uh, so now how we actually assemble. We have our hot cocoa, right? We're gonna get this open. And we are going to fill these balls about halfway with hot cocoa mix, with the marshmallows, without the marshmallows, whatever you and now 
we're gonna do one more quick seat. So watch how we do this. We have a straight edge here. We have a straight edge here. We're gonna quickly heat it up, get it so it's nice and gooey. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna line it up and we are going to press down. Smooth it over a little bit. And there we have a sealed chocolate bomb. We're gonna do that one more time to show you exactly how it's done. Uh, so we're gonna melt, seal and flatten the edges on that side. We are going to seal and flatten the edges on this side. Now we are going to fill it with the cocoa mix once again. There we go. We're gonna melt it once more to get the glue, so to speak. And then we quickly press those hot edges together and just kind of smooth it over a little bit as best you can. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's gonna be melted in a few minutes anyway. Uh, and there, there you go. There's your chocolate bomb. Gonna finish up this last one and then I will see you guys in just a sec. Here we have the finished product as we can see. Pretty good, they're not perfect, but uh, you know, not bad. All right guys, so now it is the moment of truth. We have the chocolate bomb here, so let's try it out. We have a cup of steamy milk. We will just give it a little bit, give it a good toss. How neat is that? Just explode, melts, the hot cocoa mixes. And the cool part, oh my gosh, look at that. Is that you don't even need to use a lot of hot cocoa mix because the literal chocolate itself melts in. Makes it smooth, creamy, delicious, my goodness. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed your stay here on this channel. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've made this before, or maybe you check it out, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.